Hey guys, my name is Matsumi Ohm, and today I am undertaking the Deagle Only Challenge in Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, if you're not aware, the Desert Eagle was introduced with the new Dustline DLC with the two new operators, and it is glorious. I was not expecting to have this much fun with pistol only. I went into it thinking that it was going to be difficult, and it was difficult. I was at a disadvantage. I'm using a secondary weapon against assault rifles and PDWs into that nature, and so this was very challenging, but once I started to understand how to manipulate it into my favor and use the resources that I had available to me, this was one of the most enjoyable challenges that I've done in a very, very long time. And so easily the best aspect about this pistol is it's insanely high high damage and incredibly fast rounds per minute. If you're able to catch your enemy by surprise and better yet close the gap on them so you're not that far away, you're almost going to kill them instantaneously even though you're not lining up a headshot. You guys are going to notice throughout today's video that when I get up close and personal and I've caught them by surprise, that there's no time for them to react. This feels like more of an assault rifle in the damage department compared to a pistol. That's how incredible this thing is. Now you might be thinking, well that doesn't sound like much of a challenge. If it's, if it's doing as much damage as an assault rifle and you're able to kill people that quickly, then how is that going to be all that difficult? Well, the difficulty comes into play with its very, very substantial recoil and its low magazine size. Uh, here you guys are going to notice I'm just shooting at a wall and that second shot, is if I'm trying to take advantage of that very fast rounds per minute, is a mile above the first one. And so if I need to be precise because the enemy is across the hallway and the only reliable way that I'm going to be able to drop them is with the headshots, that's where the deagle starts to struggle. Because of that substantial recoil, I have to let the gun settle on down even before I can see my next shot, even before I can see their head again, and that gives the enemy plenty of opportunity to riddle me with bullets and quickly take me out. That said though, when I was finally able to make it work and I was able to manipulate this into my favor, it made it all the more gratifying when I did start to secure these kills. Uh, one thing that made this challenge a hell of a lot easier though are Valkyrie's cameras. Her cameras are a godsend, and you're going to notice throughout today's video that I leaned heavily on them. As I mentioned earlier, you want to flank the enemy, you want to you want to close the gap and catch them by surprise, and as long as you know what you're doing, you place these in prime locations, that makes it a lot easier to be able to do that. One of my favorite tactics was when the round was about to start, throw a camera kind of in the general area where I assumed that we're going to breach on in through the windows, and as soon as I saw them and they were looking a different way or they, they started to appear through their own cameras, I would run outside and get a cheeky kill. It was incredibly satisfying to line a headshot against someone with the deagle with this specific tactic. It really made me appreciate how powerful Valkyrie is right now. I was somehow reaching the top of the scoreboard even though I was just running around with a pistol. Maybe it was because I was getting lucky these couple of rounds, maybe it was because the enemy had no idea what they were doing, but I think what it really came down to was that I had halfway decent camera placements, I was roaming around, and then as soon as I realized that I was in the prime location to get a nice flank off, I was securing multiple kills no problem, even though I was using a deagle, and I think it was all because of that gadget. Uh, I did also try this with a couple of the other pistols, to kind of gauge how good the deagle is in comparison to the other weapons in the game, and I feel like it's relatively well balanced. Uh, as I mentioned, the deagle, because of its high recoil, it makes it difficult to go for those consecutive headshots. That's not really true for the other pistols in the game. I, I noticed that if I kind of had an idea where the enemy's head was going to be, the other pistols were significantly easier to line up those long range shots. And while it's probably too early to tell, the operators have only been out for about a week now, it's probably going to take much longer for us to understand if the deagle is better than the others. At the end of the day, this is a secondary weapon and you're probably not going to be running around with it as a primary weapon like I did today, so in most situations, it's not really going to be that much of a game changer. I will say though, that is, it is just, it is just fun. Getting kills with it, flanking, and just letting it rip into an enemy, there's nothing really like it in Rainbow Six Siege. And so, my one complaint with it is that I wish that this was on more operators. I truly do wish that not only just Blackbeard and Valkyrie had access to this magnificent weapon. Uh, but yeah guys, that is about it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Give me your thoughts on the Desert Eagle. Are you as infatuated as I am with this weapon? Do you find it to be lackluster because of that insane recoil? Let me know down below. Uh, as always, if you have a challenge that you would like me to try next, also let me know down below in the comments. Uh, this is a video series that is based off of your recommendations, and so if there is a loadout that you would like me to try with a terrible combination of attachments, or if there's a gadget that you might want me to use exclusively, let me know down below. Uh, but yeah guys, until tomorrow, have a good one, and take it easy.